Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of All Angles. I'm Dion Jacksmillo. Now, Prime Minister Andrew Holness told the Jamaica Labour Party's annual conference on Sunday that the administration would continue its road improvement program. We will make the allocations in this budget and in the budget to come to make repairs and improvements to local and secondary roads as far as we can. Now, we all want better roads, but why have so many of our road improvement programs been chaotic, causing misery and inconvenience to thousands of motorists and residents? Think most recently, St. Thomas. Describe for me what the roads are like. Terrible. The roads are very terrible and it's really mashing up the, the, the taxi. When you say terrible, tell me what you mean. Terrible, that means we have big um, ditches, big potholes in the road. We are, when you hit those potholes, it lick out your front end, mash up the bar giants them, and the, the bushings them. The road is in a undrivable condition. Normally, a owner will get a, like an $80,000 from the car. You have to spend back $50,000. You need to take from the, the, the cobbler them and give back to the Chinese. And the Chinese them, because the black man them like with them, some of them are cobbler. They don't know them. They, they better go down and dress make a school for learning. Because they can't fix it. They can't take a dress make a put to fix the road. What do you think they should do differently in how they're doing the road? One of the main problem is to maintain the road while you are working on it. So the, 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 when there is rain and it creates the, the potholes and the ditches, cover them with whatever um, river shingles or mall. When the road is dry like no, you're going to encounter a lot of dust, wet the road. Now, that problem isn't over. St. Thomas Road, not done yet. But this road problem has been happening over and over and over. Remember Hagley Park Road? Hagley Park Road in St. Andrew was open to two-way traffic on Monday. But a check by our newsroom revealed safety hazards remain for pedestrians and motorists. They include uneven sidewalks and this barely covered manhole in the middle of the road, close to the Waltham Park Road intersection. Another manhole, which is not properly covered, is close to the Hagley Park Prep School. But just as serious are exposed steels used to construct curb walls. Vice Principal for the Hagley Park Prep School, Angela Tate, says she has been speaking to parents about the safety hazards. Fortunately for us, most of our students are picked up. They don't really traverse the area alone and those that do we have two securities at the gate a warden that crosses the students and try to get them on a safe path and we also have a gate security so you're saying there's no possibility of a student uh, there is i can't say there is no because you know children are active and they will things will happen closer to three miles another manhole is so high in the road it could create problems for motorists especially at nights while on location, this sign was casually placed near it to warn unsuspecting motorists. Operator of the hose assembly and supplies, Janet Grant, is concerned about the safety of people getting over these medians. Well, my concern is that the length of the median is too long. There should be some more openings for you to have easier access to the other side of the road. In addition, at the bus stop here, you can, you can see there's no way for the bus to pull in or any vehicle, you know, traffic to pull in. Okay, 
We'll remind you of others throughout the program, but we want to start our discussion. And joining us now to tell us why this happens and what we need to do better. I did tell you I'll be, I would be bringing back our three expert guests. Stephen Shaw, Communication and Customer Service Manager at the National Works Agency. Dr. Carlton Hay with us. He's on Zoom. He's a civil engineer and structural and civil engineer. Dr. Wayne Reed is in studio with us as well. Remember, you can WhatsApp us. It's 3810072. That's 876-3810072. Give us your first name, your general location. Tweet along with us. Our hashtag is TBJ All Angles. Gentlemen, welcome back, all of you. Good Thank to have you. you back with a little bit more time to get into the issue. So, in, you know, I was writing a list of all the problems that come about during these traffic um, road projects and I ran out of paper. <laughs> I went on to two paper and I'm still going. Dr. Reed, in a, in a sentence, why are these road projects so chaotic? If you would boil it down into one sentence. Um, boiling it down, I think there are two main problems. One is a lack of adequate uh, planning. And the second is uh, a level of contempt for the traveling public, the pedestrians, the Jamaican public at large. You're going to get a road in the end, so what you make a nice about a, a pothole here and a block road there and a ditch in the road, don't worry, it's soon finish. Might be not this year, might be the next year, all the following year, but it's going to finish. So, so we, must, we must stop dark and Yes, good to, yeah. Total contempt for the, for the traveling public. I'm going to come back to that. But Dr. Hay, for you, in a, in a sentence, yes, um, in a paragraph, what, what is causing all this? That's you, Dr. Hay. Well, um, Dr. Reed mentioned something very important. I, I, I don't know if, if we are prioritizing the the actual rideability of the surfaces when we are doing construction. So Dr. Reed calls it contempt. I don't know if they prioritized it. And that is and that is my problem. What do you and mean? What do you mean by that? Explain what you mean. Prioritizing no, the rideability well, well, of the I service. Prioritize. It, it, it is one thing to facilitate traffic during construction. But we know and we plan and we schedule and we expect that you'll have storm water flow issues, you'd have dusting issues. And um, when you're in the process of constructing, it's very difficult to, to, to prevent scoring and erosion of the road while you're constructing. But if proper measures are put in place and allocations are made to keep temporary um, um, facilitation of the, of the road surface for at least reasonable driving condition, then we'll get it. But if it is not prioritized when they are formulating the contract for the contractor, I am not sure if those allocations were made and the allowances were made to maintain smooth, relatively smooth traveling on the road during construction. That sounds like something that should be basic though. <clears throat> Prioritizing that people can, can drive and ride on, on the road during construction. That's not like but that should that, be a basic part of the planning. That will cost money, though, um, um, Dion, because it means that for every level of construction as the road pro progresses, you have to sometimes put, put in temporary surface. And this is not in surface. Or uh, you have to have a team that is just focused and, and rehabilitating as the go along. And it's going to cost. And I don't know if those education or allowances were made during development. I think that, that's such a critical point. Um, so Stephen Shaw, content, lack of planning? I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll allow you to catch your, <laughs> catch your thoughts on that because I'm at break. So let me go to break. We we'll soon come. Remember our WhatsApp line three eight one zero zero seven two and our hashtag is TVJ All Angles. We we'll soon come. <laughs> 